So as you can see guys, it ain't no work gonna be going on outside anytime soon around my household. I am still working on an indoor project downstairs. So I wanna take you on to that here in a sec. Uh, we'll be picking up where we left off and you know me, let's go get busy. Okay guys, I'm down in the basement and getting ready to get started and obviously you can see sheetrock is up and this is something I do not want to do. I wanted to hire this out so bad and I just can't find anybody to come and do this work. So anyway, I'm going to get busy and I'm going to be taping and mudding up all the seams uh, over all the screws and getting all of this prepared uh, for um, priming and painting. And so guys, I don't want to do this, but let's go get busy. <laughs> And one of the best tips that I can give you uh, is when you thin this down, you want to get it, I, I, I think they probably call it sort of like maybe a little thicker than pudding, but this is too thick, it's harder to spread. So when you add a little water, you stir it down, uh, thicken the consistency up a little bit, and then it'll spread a whole lot easier. So guys, one of the biggest difference you'll see and how it's a telltale sign you're looking at a pro or an amateur is pros don't make a mess. <laughs> so if you're an amateur like I am, keep you a damp rag so you can wipe up behind yourself as you're going. Because I tend to make a mess. But you know what? You can wipe it up. It's not a big deal. Don't want to discourage you. If you've never done this, don't be scared to try. Get out there and try it yourself. Speaking of messes, one of the things that I noticed from watching other videos of the pros doing it is they're constantly cleaning their blade. And I have been, I made a mental note of that and I've been doing that and that's, I'm still messy, but I'm not near as messy as I was. So these trays have this hard uh, black stripe on it. It really makes it so you can hit and keep clean your blades. So just take a note, constantly clean and you won't make as big a mess. Okay guys, let me spin the camera around and I'll show you. So this is the first coat of tape and mud. Uh, obviously we'll come back, let this dry, we'll come back and put another coat on it. And then we'll slowly go to bigger trowels to go from 6 inch to 12 inch. And we'll just fan this out and get it wider and wider. So uh, for me, uh, I won't be surprised. You know, most people they do three coats. I won't be surprised if I have to do four. Just, uh, you know, for being inexperienced. But you know, so what? I don't care. The one thing that I can tell you I did the math on, and just by me doing it myself, not counting my time, I'm probably only in it for less than a third of what I would have paid someone else to do it. So, you know, I'd still rather pay somebody else, but that's what keeps me going, I guess. Anyway, guys, remember here at Project Next, there's always another one. So uh, this project will continue going. After we get the sheetrock ready, we'll be painting, and then we will be putting a new grid system in uh, with new type of lights uh, and finish this project up. So be on the lookout for that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you later.